So the Zoller is going to prevent the needle from getting there. The Dupilumab, as I said, we're not exactly sure how it works. It may just kind of make the mast cells a little sleepier is kind of the way that I think about it. But the Remibrutinib, what's really useful about it is that it doesn't matter if the needle gets there. Even if however many needles get through, by taking that link out of the chain, the needles can't make the mast cell pop. That's really what makes it completely unique. It's the only treatment close in the pipeline that actually works inside the cell rather than trying to, to work on the surface of the cell. And so that, that does make a difference. But so again, the dupilumab sort of turns down the whole immune pathway that the mast cells are in. The remibrutinib doesn't affect that immune pathway, but it protects the mast cells from getting popped. So the needles aren't popping them 